In many respects, it looks a lot more like boot camp than river guide training. Just like the military, it's all about building discipline. You're just filthy. You're just filthy. This is the type of hardship that makes a young boatman strong. Jason Armstrong is the seasoned veteran here. Uh, I've probably been down cataract over 50 times, maybe 60. On this trip, he's teaching 19-year-old Trapper Burdick how to read the river. Went straight in, you know, it was perfectly square to it and just went right back. And pushing him relentlessly. He doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> I will never stop. I'll never ever stop. <laughs> if I don't beat him physically, I'll crush him mentally. <laughs> and although Trapper knows what's waiting for him downriver, his teacher has a few surprises along the way. Something dragging? Like dragging a bucket in the water behind his boat to slow him down. <laughs> and after some boat to boat combat, <laughs> instructor and recruit relax and make camp. A stone's throw from Trapper's next test. I don't think there's a single time when I'm running rapids that I don't have just enough fear to, uh, to keep me on edge and keep me sharp. It is here that Trapper will need all of his discipline because rafting guides consider this section of Cataract Canyon to be their equivalent of going into combat. This section is known as Big Drop Number Three and Satan's Gut. During the night, a storm moved in. And with this wind, it might be a little difficult. It's a serious concern. Oh, you can see it. You see it there? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. The very worst thing that could happen is that you would tip over and you would everybody would go swimming out of your boat. And with that, Trapper takes the helm. <laughs> but today, the river is just too powerful. I didn't realize where the weight was coming from and I didn't square into it, so I, my angle was wrong. I should have known better. But Armstrong says Trapper did know better. Look at his hands as he fights to save the boat. Even when all is lost, Trapper's hands never leave the oars. He goes down with the ship like any good captain would. And Trapper was, was doing a fine job. Uh, but the lateral wave was just uh, just too big. This is the kind of discipline Armstrong has worked so hard to instill a trapper. And when everyone else is in the water, Trapper is first on top of the boat, offering a hand and pulling them out. It's a textbook example of what he's supposed to do. Nothing was lost. I mean, nobody's really got banged up or too frightened. Just so it's I'm all the accurate. Only one that got injured. Yeah. Like I said, if it had to happen, it, that's where it was going to happen. I'd rather shake it off. It's all good. It's, it's a learning experience. But the most important part of this learning experience is making sure Trapper gets back on the horse that threw him. No one here wants him to fear the river, so it's back to work with Trapper back at the helm. Andrew Stack, 2 News in Cataract Canyon.